Josh Bean from AL.com here. We're on our way to Congressman Mo Brooks's house here in Huntsville. We're going to play some table tennis and try to talk politics and policy with the congressman. See a flash across the sky, battle skin, electric eye, watching over you and me, saviors of humanity, nine heroes strong. The channel is built you up to be great. <laughs> I don't know about that. Hi, I'm Josh Bean. Good to see you. Good to meet you. Do you have any shorts? Do you want me to get you some shorts? No, this will be good. All right. Come on. <laughs> P-I-N-V. Are we going to play by the rules or not play by the rules? Are you ready? O2, your sir. You just ran for Senate. Yes. You are in Congress. Yes. Are you thinking of running for something else? Re-election. Other than that? No. None? Donald Trump has the presidency, and obviously there is a Senator Richard Shelby who has that position, mm -hmm. and Luther Strange and Roy Moore and Doug Jones have the other Senate position. I am where I am. That's where I'm going to be, subject to uh, voter approval, of course. So you're not thinking about running for governor? Absolutely not. I would, no offense to the people in Montgomery, but I really like living in the Tennessee Valley. <laughs> I can't get that one. I would be hard pressed to think of another candidate who has had as much money spent in attack ads against them as Luther Strange and Mitch McConnell just spent against me. It's well into the many millions of dollars. What's it like to know that that came from your own party? Well, I think it's very disturbing, particularly for the people who contributed money to the National Republican Senatorial Committee or the Senate Leadership Fund thinking that the money was going to be used to elect Republicans over Democrats. And I saw where uh, Judge Roy Moore is about to go through the same kind of negative attack ads. I call it scorched earth or carpet bombing type of approach where uh, the veracity, the truthfulness of the ad is not important if you have so much money that it's impossible for the victim of those ads to be able to respond. You know, this is going to help you win a game if you keep this up. <laughs> the big mystery card in all this is what does Donald Trump do? And a lot of people have expressed great dissatisfaction and anger with the White House, with Donald Trump endorsing the candidate who supports the 60% rule, which in effect kills Donald Trump's entire Make America Great Again agenda. You said and you I thought think maybe he was that, misled? Oh, quite clearly he was misled. What, do you, what did you mean by that? Because for me as someone Donald Trump, who's just, who just reads it, it makes it sound like you're saying that the president simply got tricked into endorsing the wrong person. I think that is a reasonable inference that one could draw from the remarks that I uttered. Um, is that there, what you meant? There have been some communications involving the White House that I'm not at liberty to discuss, but I will say this, the president did not know at the time that he made the endorsement that Luther Strange was opposing the president on the 60 vote rule. Now the president does know that. The shooting at the baseball game, um, some time has gone by since then. Uh, you know, there was an assassin there. You were on a, essentially a hit list. What's that like? It what is difficult like? to describe because I've never been on an assassination list before. 
Um, the six of us who were on the assassination list met with the FBI and we went through with them what transpired, over 100 bullets were fired, the assassin shot over 60 bullets by himself. The FBI showed us on the PowerPoint screen the actual note, the assassination list, and it had six of us by name, it had our office numbers, uh, we were all part of the conservative leadership in the United States Congress, members of the House Freedom Caucus. Uh, fortunately for those of us on the baseball field, he was a very poor shot. I mean, he was shooting a rifle from the hip. It's, it's really hard to describe that, getting to your question, what it's like to be on an assassination list, because until you've been on it, you don't understand the uh, thought processes associated with that and perhaps even the emotional aspect. I noticed that it changed my behavior. Mm -hmm. I was at a, a candidate forum in Montgomery and we had uh, a wall behind us or a curtain behind us and then you had windows on each side and the candidates were lined up here and the audience was there and I noticed myself about three-fourths of the way through the debate and this was not long after the shooting in June where I kept glancing from window to window to window uh, in case uh, someone were to come with evil intent. This has been great to be here playing table tennis with Mo Brooks. He was kind enough to invite him into his home. And um, you know it was it was it's a pleasure being here. We appreciate the conversation. Hey, you helped restore my ego after that <laughs> thrashing I just had in that center race. Thanks so much. Thank you. But this particular uh, paddle has some real advantages against a spin player because these pips are so hard and slick that you can put a fantastic spin on the paddle and it does absolutely nothing to the direction the ball is going to come off.